Good morning, good morning from Tallahassee. I hope you're having a beautiful Sunday. It's really a wonderful day today. It's a little overcast, but it's fine. The birds are out there in the bird feeder. They're having a grand time, so I am really having a grand time as well. I'm hoping that you are too. This is an interesting weekend. We're preparing for, hey Wendy, got you down. Yes, I'm so glad you made it too. I saw you on your uh, rollerblades. Oh my gosh, I was very impressed, very impressed. <laughs> hey Deborah, gotcha. It is, as I said, a beautiful day, and it is an interesting weekend. Not only are we going to prep for the full moon tomorrow evening, but on Wednesday, which is also my son Tim's birthday, is the autumnal equinox. In the evening, the sun will move from where it is right now in Virgo to Libra. Hey, Jackie. Oh, good morning. I'm so glad to see you. And you have a card, Jackie, so hang on. At the end, when I pull cards, there will be one for you. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. So it is great. And we had, let's talk about first that full moon that we're having in Pisces on tomorrow evening at 7.54 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and it's at 28 degrees of Pisces. So Pisces is the 12th sign, the 12th house of the zodiac. So we may feel small and unimportant right now, but we are part and connected to the whole, and that is Pisces, and especially with Neptune there. So we're not small. Just as we are one drop in the ocean, we are the ocean. And that's what really makes us feel full and abundant. So if we're feeling unlimited at this time, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Do not feel unlimited just because you may be feeling like things aren't going that well. And, oh, there we go. Thank you, Jackie. So, um, with one act of kindness, what this means is with one act of kindness, we send those ripples out. We send those ripples out and have that effect. Just like they say, if a butterfly flaps its wings in South America, we can have a hurricane later just because of the way the air moves. It's, we are powerful. We're not small, we're powerful. So however we look at that, look in terms of we are large, as Jackie said, because that is important. So Pisces strives not only to do the right thing, but to do, not only to do things right, but to do the right thing. So. Both of those things go together. And because its opposite sign is Virgo, that really affects it. So my son is a Virgo son. That's because he was born in the morning where the, um, so he's at 29 degrees of Virgo. Um, in the afternoon, actually early evening is when the sun moves into Libra. So the moon can bring a little bit of chaos with Pisces because we're finding our way, we're finding the answers. Yes, we're looking to get back our power. And th that can be, if we have not recognized it for a while, can be a little chaotic. And that's okay. Because Virgo is there in the opposite sign bringing order. So you have chaos and order together. And what happens then, two days later, with the sun moves into Libra and the sign of balance. So within that, we find our balance. So we need to embrace both of these both of these, using our intuition, using your intuition to find what is exactly right for you. So what is the magic word for all of this? Of course, it's gratitude. Gratitude is the magic word. We need to accept where we are. And I've, that was one of the lessons that, hey, Sandra, one of the lessons that exactly that's that intuition to get clear and listen. And one of the reasons, one of the things that I learned today, I was taking, uh, actually this past week, I was doing um, an online challenge with uh, Yvette Taylor. And one of the things that came up for me was accepting where I am right now, not worrying about when my desires are gonna manifest, not putting a time on them, 
because I don't need a time because they're already here. Having that faith and trust in what the future will bring. And there's those words again, faith and trust in what the future will bring. That total commitment to be all in, to be yes, grateful, trust, and have faith. Because it's there. Pisces is idealistic, it's spiritual, it's sensitive, it's giving, and it's compassionate. So this full moon is at the end of the zodiac, at 28 degrees, because at 29 degrees it ends and moves into Aries. So we find all the missing pieces now. They're all coming together. It's at the end of the zodiac, the, the end of the, the degrees in that sign, and we connect the dots and pull the things together. Yes, we can pull those things together because we are not only a drop in the ocean, we are the ocean. So that means we have connection with it all, connection with everything that's out there. Now, today's daily word was interesting because it, it falls and, and leads right in to lack or abundance, feeling unlimited, or feeling limited, whichever it is. So it's the time now to feel unlimited. If we're not only the drop in the ocean, but we are the ocean, think about the massive resources that are ours. You have touch. You have that touch. You can touch all of that. Living from my divine nature frees me. That's our connection. That's the connection to the whole. Sometimes I feel limited when I don't think I have enough time, money, space, education, or experience. These thoughts can occupy so much space in my mind that I begin to think limitation is the truth of life. And of course, we know that's not the truth. We know that. The greater truth is that I am free and unlimited in spirit, and that spirit with a capital S, free and unlimited, not lacking and limited free and unlimited. You're, part, you're not only part of the whole, you are the whole. What joy and liberation it is to know that nothing can separate me from my true spiritual nature. If I believe any circumstance in my life or any of the past actions obstruct or delay my spiritual progress, I now release that belief because that is releasing the feeling of lack and the blocking of the abundance and the whole coming to us. Embracing and living from divine presence, I claim freedom from all limitation. Well, I also have the uh, Abraham Hicks Ask and It Is Given cards. And today was, why is it taking so long? And that's what this looks like. Why is it taking so long? Meaning, where is it? Where's the money in the bank? Where's that, that lover that I want to show up? Where's all the things that I want in my life? The only reason you have not already received what you desire is because you are holding yourself in a vibrational pattern that does not match the vibration of your desire. The, pat the vibration of your desire is fullness, abundance, wholeness. We're not only the drop in the ocean, we are the ocean. And I want you to really breathe that in and feel that because that is amazing. And that is exactly what this full moon is about. And within that, within that chaos and and order that we're feeling as this new, as this full moon comes about, we have the balance of Libra. The sun moves into Libra on Wednesday. Those are energies to support you, but you still have to choose. So you have to decide what are you going to choose. That's what's really important. So right now we're gonna move into the full moon reading and keeping the energy of Pisces uh, in top of mind that's what we're gonna go for right now. Okay, let me shuffle. So please keep in mind for you, hold your intention of what that is, that unlimited intention, that 
part of the whole. That knowing that you are not just small and a drop in the ocean. You are the ocean. Okay, here we go. And this is seven cards, so I take the summary card off to the bottom, off of the bottom, and I put it off to the side. Leslie, I'm so glad you're here. I saw that you were on. Okay, four, five, and six. Okay, here we go. What have I created and manifested since the new moon? And we had that wonderful new moon in Virgo that was that gave us so much opportunity to create that abundance. Maybe it's not in our hand right now, but keep in mind what this card from Abraham Hicks, Ask and It Is Given said. And right now it's 1111, so it is given. Make sure that you know that. Make sure that you feel that. We're going into that vibration that allows. And so what have I created since the new moon? We have the princess of wands, the fire sign, the power, the purpose, the passion of what I'm doing. She has been planning and organizing this. She is a creator. This is wands, the fire sign. She is a creator. She's been planting the seeds, getting things in place. The new moon offered you that opportunity to, to create your intentions, and you've been working on that using inspired action to move forward, not just being busy, but inspired action to actually move forward. So you've been on it. You've been doing this. Where am I now? This is the Two of Cups. This is all about love. Where am I now? I'm recognizing that love plays a big part in all that I am doing, in all that I say, in all that's happening. If it's playing that big a part, yes, this looks like a couple. It can be loving of what you're doing. It can be learning to love your family. If there are changes that you want to make, part of your desire is to move in a different direction. You have to love where you are right now in order to bring that love with you. If you want to move in another direction because you really don't like where you are right now, you really can't stand it, that's what you're going to take with you. So what do you want to create? I know that there are wonderful, loving things that you can find that, there are, that are there for you. And all you have to do is take a look. That's all you have to do. It is there. Love where you are. That was one of the things we talked about right now. Accept where you are right now. And that message was accept where you are. Have faith and trust in what the future will bring. That's what this card is saying, just like we talked about. What is coming into my conscious awareness? I can do this. I'm the star. I've been working on those feelings of lack. The healing those parts to move to wellness. I don't want to be stuck in healing. I've been doing the work. I've been doing the process to get to that place of actually recognizing how abundant I am. I'm the star. My chakras, all seven in-body chakras shine. They're clear. I'm not holding anything there that takes away from who I am. I am whole, well, and healthy. I am the whole. I'm not just the drop. I am the ocean with all those wonderful things that I can embrace within it. Fourth card. What is no longer serving me? And this is interesting because this is actually the Ace of Cups. What this is saying, and cups is emotion, what is no longer serving me is going back to replay my new ideas, going back to replay old ideas, going back and taking these ideas that I've had and done nothing with. I'm giving that up. I'm really going to focus on those 
those creative moments that I've had and what really speaks to me in terms of this is where I want to go. This is what I want to do. This is the thought I want to hold instead of the old ones. Whatever that is, whether it's a behavior or a thought or a feeling, it's the new ones that I want to keep with me, not the old ones. Five, how can I release and let go of these energies? I can do this. I've done it in the past. You, this, this is the nine of wands and it reminds me of the wounded warrior. That I've been through the battles. I've worked on myself. I've really had all those moments of it seemed like a good idea at the time. And now I know I still overcame all of that. To become, because it's not about overcoming. It's about becoming who I want to be. I have that strength. I have that power. I can do this. I can do this. There is nothing that can keep me away. I can do this. I have all the support I needed. Each wand is powerful. This is a fire sign. It's about passion and inner spirit. And I have that inner spirit to move forward and to be to be my intentions, to live my desires. I've been through enough to know that that's what really exists. What additional resources are available to me right now? And this is the second major arcana card, and this is the hangman. Maybe it's time for me to take a look at things a little differently. Maybe I need to review what I've been looking at. Maybe I need to review the way I've been doing things, organizing things, thinking about things, planning things, loving on things, not loving on things, my thoughts, my actions, my being. It's time for me to take a look at it, to really take a look at it. With these wonderful energies now, you have the opportunity to take an honest look at it. Because sometimes that's hard to do. I, I know for me it's hard to do. Sometimes I, you know, I can, I can create my own little mindset in my head to, to uh, look at it differently when my heart is telling me, is this really true? How are you looking at this now? What is really important for you? That's what this says. Take an honest look. Not a hard look, a loving look. But an honest, loving look look at who you are and what do you want to change and the summary card is this with that last card it may be difficult to make these changes it may be difficult to release because that's what a full moon is about it may be difficult to release these old feelings these old thoughts this the old ways that i've been doing things but i can do this breathe that in and release Breathe in and release. Nothing in your life was wrong. There were no accidents. There were no mistakes. All of it led you to who you are right now. You don't have to relive any of those. I know there was a time that I would beat myself up about some behaviors that I had back when I was like 18. And here I am in my 50s, not now of course, but here I, then I was in my 50s still thinking and being ashamed of whatever that was. And when I look back on it, it was nothing. I was just a kid. So what? We all have had those moments where it seemed like a good idea at the time. And it was. So get over it. It took me a while. Somebody had to say that to me. They said, Donna, just get over it. That was ridiculous. And it made me think, you know, I spent a lot of time thinking about the mistakes I made and feeling ashamed and guilty and that was such a waste of energy. Now I can look back and think and laugh actually because I thought that I was so knowledgeable and worldly at 18, right? And I wasn't. I was finding my way. We're all doing that. Using your intuition to find the answer and the way that serves you the best. So, in other words, get over yourself. It's okay, get over yourself. Have a good time, be happy, enjoy. Open up that unlimited space. Open up the ocean. 
not just the drop, open up the ocean. So I know that these spirit animal cards are really going to, because uh, this is the spirit animal oracle, are really going to give us some good ones related to this reading. I love this reading, by the way. The, the one thing that I can say is that the theme that comes out of this is get over yourself. Just trust and know that you are unlimited and you are the whole ocean. So get over yourself. I can say that laughingly because it's been said to me, like I said. And you know what? I did and it felt so liberating. So liberating. And I want to pass on these messages so, so you don't have to wait till my age to be figuring this out. Do it at such a, a younger age. Okay, here we go. Wendy, Miss Rollerblades, Rollerblade Girl. Oh, this is pretty. Again, this relates to limited, unlimited. So this is Koi Fish Spirit, There Is Always Enough. Isn't that beautiful? Koi Fish Spirit, There Is Always Enough. I love that. I love it. Oh, I know you're going to love this, Wendy. There's always enough. And he's got hearts on him, by the way, right across here. There are hearts there. Really beautiful. Yes, exactly, Deborah. Get over it. I love that eagle song. It's perfect. It's perfect. I also think of the scene in Moonstruck with uh, Cher, and she comes up to, um, okay, you know who I'm talking about, the, the actor, and slaps him across the face and says, get over it. I've done that to myself, not, not really, not really, but thought about it. So we have the koi. There's always enough. I like that. Okay, Deborah. This is Rhino Spirit, Deborah. Overcome any obstacle. There's always enough to overcome any obstacle. Nicholas Cage, thank you so much, Leslie. Gosh, I couldn't think of his name right now. Just went right out of my head. I could see him, but I couldn't think of it. Thank you, Leslie. There's this is overcome any obstacle. So we have, it's all, there's always enough and overcome any obstacle. And uh, you know, I don't like the word overcome because it's about becoming. So this is get over it. <laughs> don't you love that, Deborah? And you were the one that put out that Eagle song too. So I think that's, that's amazing. I love it. Okay, Jackie. Here we go. And Jackie. Ooh. Okay, this is Wasp Spirit. Wasp Spirit. Sometimes life stings. Now, does that have to be bad? No. It can be a wake-up call. It can be like, okay, here, take a look at this. Maybe your eyes aren't in, focused in the right direction. That's all this is, means is it's a wake-up call. It doesn't mean it's total disaster and everything falls apart. I love those little moments. You know, sometimes I'll bump my elbow, you know, the, you know, the funny bone that really hurts. And I'm thinking, okay, what is my message here? Or uh, in my house, I have a, a wall with the cabinets on the, on the kitchen side. And on the dining room, living room side, it's a, just a plain wall. But it's a space underneath with the counter. So sometimes, even if I've lived in this house for 15 years, I still will sometimes hit my head on that corner. And I'm thinking, okay, what am I supposed, I'm not paying attention to something. I'm not getting, paying attention to something. So that helps me a lot. So we have, there's always enough, overcome any obstacle, 
and sometimes life stings. But let's take it in the reverse order. Sometimes life stings. We get a wake-up call to overcome what we need to do to recognize that there's always enough. So if we put it in the reverse, it has the story of being unlimited. Be having enough doesn't put a cap on anything. It means that for now, this, is, this feels good to us, this feels enough, and we can move forward. Again, being unlimited. The um, special for this, and again, you can, if you choose to have this full moon tarot reading, it's a uh, half price, even though it's not listed on the page. Well, that could be, Jackie, that could be tough love, yes. Tough love could be definitely part of that. Also, yes, absolutely. It's not just about you, but sometimes the tough love works both ways with a little sting. It's hard to do, but we do it. Absolutely. Okay, that's perfect. I'm so glad that works for you. And that's another perfect example of how cards are meaningful to you as well. So I love that. I love that. And I just did the cards in reverse to tell the story. But yes, you took it in the reverse thing. It's not the sting on you. It's the sting that you give to others. But there may be a little sting for yourself too. I, you know, we do it because we have to in terms of maintaining our own personal boundaries. But sometimes it's not easy. But good. Thank you for, for allowing that and putting that in there, Jackie. I appreciate that so much. So we have Tarot Flow is on, it was on this past Saturday. So now we have, not yesterday, but the day before. And yes, you are. Yes, you are, Jackie. That is so true. I love you for that. I love you for that. You are so you. And it doesn't matter about anybody else. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> I love you, Jackie. You are amazing. So, uh, Tarot Flow was uh, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before. And it is now on a Thursday night. So that will be October 14th at 7 o'clock. And the uh, links for a one-time attendance and the subscription, which of course is $10 less, or actually $11 less, uh, to subscribe to that. Because of course, that is not only the single card tarot reading, it's also, it's also the blend that Angie creates from the energy of our reading and sends to everybody. So I just got mine yesterday. So Ruth, I have yours. And also the online tarot gallery reading is the single card reading. We have that once a month on the third Thursday. So that of course is a different price because we're not involving the oils in that. So Tarot Flow is a combination of Angie Reed and myself doing both of those things and it is fantastic. It's always on point. And online tarot gallery reading are the cards. And of course you always get a picture of your card and a replay of the uh, Zoom recording. So yes, it's all fantastic. And of course, a single card reading is similar to what we're doing, but you're actually getting um, a 10 card reading, eight card reading, depending upon how many people that are subscribers show up. So you're actually getting a multi-card reading, which is an hour. And for, <clears throat> for our My Tarot Gallery reading, it's $14.97. And it's $29.97 for Tarot Flow. A, an hour reading for me on my website, re, uh, comparing it to online tarot gallery reading, is $197. So here you are getting a group reading once a month, a full reading, one hour reading, because each card has a message for you for $14.97, where the one hour reading is $197. So it's definitely a bargain, and it is oh, an amazing group of women. We really, it's really, really special. So thank you so much for today, and again, the also the special for this month, especially since we're talking about being unlimited, is the Financial Abundance Tarot reading. 
that's a half an hour and it's on special for 49 instead of 97. Now that really cuts to where you allow the flow and where you block it, among other things. But those, those, that's the essence of it, is where you allow the flow and where you block it. So it brings you down to, okay, what, what do I do about that now? Where do I go from here? So it really gives you a lot of information in just a half an hour. So thank you so much for today. I've really loved every moment of this. Enjoy the full moon. Enjoy the release. There may be some stings in that, like the card that Jackie got, but she's she's got it. No worries for her. Yes. Love to all of you. Love to everyone. This has been a great day. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. I love doing the readings. I love showing how these cards aren't just cut in stone and what they mean. There's It's so much in terms of the intuition part that I love that connection to spirit to allow that flow. In fact, I said to spirit, I really love doing the readings because I love that connection. And the message I heard was, you have it always. So that was a good message, not just for me, but for everybody. You have it always. So have a great Sunday. And remember, joy has your name on it. Bye now. Mwah.